Okay, so let's have a look at some of the cleaning products I use. I live in regional Australia, so I've, we've got a supermarket here and that's pretty much it. Everything else needs to be ordered in. So this is all stuff you can get at your local supermarket. And to make this video a bit more interesting, we've got a couple of old computer parts that need various aspects of cleaning. So we're going to try some of these household cleaning products and see how we go. Microfiber cloths really good at just wiping everything basically, uh, cleaning your monitor, wiping your case, getting rid of fingerprints. Um, wipes, very good for removing thermal grease, not powerful enough to get rid of like sticker goo and thermal pads, we need something else for that. Plastic spoons, really good for scraping, so if you're dealing with some leftover residues or goo, you can just uh, scrape it off and then not out of, it's not out of metal, so it causes very little uh, damage if any at all. Uh, some brushes. This one here, just your normal dustbin brush. Get ones that are really soft. I use this to just brush a, a, a graphics card, the entire PCB, and it gets rid of all the dust or motherboards, anything really. And for more detailed work, just get some soft toothbrushes. What else have we got? Cotton tips, really good to get into some of the smaller spaces, especially useful to clean uh, fan blades. And then we've got paper towels, of course, um, very good for applying something like uh, rubbing alcohol and just wiping things off. And these are um, likely useful for removing sticker residues and other goo and maybe thermal pads as well. So we've got orange power, sticky spot and goo dissolver. Haven't used this before, so I'm eager to see how this performs and nail polish remover. I tried to get some lighter fluid, but uh, the supermarket doesn't sell it. And yep, rubbing alcohol, of course, and also some searing machine oil that could come in handy if you want to uh, bring some life back to a fan that doesn't spin uh, properly anymore. So first up, we've got a hard drive. This is an ID drive. Came out of a Pentium 4. It's a Seagate Barracuda 7200.7 with 40 gigabytes. And it's got a bit of dust. I usually lay out some paper towels just to uh, catch all the dust. And basically, just using a brush to just get rid of all the worst dust. You can't get rid of everything. Some of the dust uh, steam seems to cling onto the hard drive. I'm in Australia, so our dirt has a reddish tint, um, and that's what you see in the computers, just like a dark red dust. And once you're done with the wiping, just use a microfiber cloth, and that usually gets rid of all the other uh, dirt and makes it look like new and um, I use these microfiber cloths all the time especially also with monitors and any flat surfaces it could be these side panels on a tower the top of a tower um, optical drives hard drives and that just gets rid of all the all the dirt there you go so this is our hard drive now looking as if it's brand new Okay, next up we've got a CPU cooler. This one is for Socket 775. It's fairly clean, so I'm not going to focus on uh, getting rid of the dust. There's some screws here where you can uh, basically remove the fan. We are focusing on this here, leftover thermal grease. And usually with leftover thermal grease, I use uh, wipes that you can get in the supermarket. They're very convenient, and you can just basically, when you, once you're done, you can just throw them away so we're just gonna have a go at using that you can see how the dirt comes off really easily so you just have to do this a few times and then let it dry so uh, for normal thermal grease there is usually no special uh, cooling uh, cleaning liquid required just these wipes will do the job next up we've got a video card let's have a look it's an AGP card it's GeForce 4 MX 440 with AGP 8X and 128 megabytes of RAM, 128 bits of DDR, that's fantastic. It's actually really clean on the other side, so I think this is a really easy job, just uh, getting rid of the dust. Sometimes you can um, unscrew the uh, rear bracket just to get in there a little bit easier, but this card is looking fine. That sticker seems to want to go off, so let's just remove that. And there's really there's nothing needed in terms of cleaning in the front. Um, I usually have a look at the GPU cooler and see how it's installed. Um, I try to like wiggle it a little bit and 
also in the computer I keep an eye on the uh, eye out on the temperature if the cooler is very hot that's good that means there's some good heat transfer going that looks fine there's really no need for example to remove that cooler and it could be some glue epoxy but in this case I'm not gonna go any further uh, in terms of replacing the cooling solution so that's all done nice and clean off we go okay next we got a Panem 4 cooler this is for socket 478 and this has some kind of leftover it's not thermal grease it must, might be like a, a thermal pad or something like that and these don't uh, come off with the wipes so uh, I can show you. you can have a go with the wipes some of the dirt comes off but really it's it's very slow going so um, if the dirt doesn't come off easily then you're using the wrong uh, product it's basically uh, chemistry um, it's meant to go fairly easy so it does come off somewhat but not as quick or as easily as I liked so we're gonna have a try have a go at using some of the other solutions that I haven't tried before so this really seems to be some type of thermal pad and if we use our plastic spoons to scrape it off we can see that it's uh, going getting off quite nicely but I still want to try some of that um, other cleaning solution that we have Okay, so we're gonna give this orange power sticky spot and goo dissolver a try. Just gonna apply a little bit, a little bit at the top and just let it soak in. So I can definitely tell it's doing something that's looking pretty good. Alrighty, I'm gonna use that same wipe again and see what we can do. So that's already looking very good. I spread it around a little bit. That might have not been the best idea. Maybe a paper towel is better. So let me just put some more of this on here. There you go. That works a lot better. There you go. Looks a lot better. So that's basically what I, what I wanted to demonstrate. If the uh, wipes don't work and you're dealing with something that's uh, tougher to remove, this product seems to work really well. So Orange Power, Sticky Spot and Goo Dissolver, that's available at Woolworths here in Australia. So um, yeah, I was able to just buy it locally without any issues. So it seems to be working well, so I can recommend it. And we got another CPU cooler. This one is from AMD. I'm not quite sure this could be socket 754 or 939 or maybe an AM2 um, cooler. I'm not quite sure. But once again, we're dealing with some sort of a uh, thermal paste or pad. I'm gonna try the um, wipes before just to get an idea of what we're dealing with. So yeah, once again, this is a bit of a tougher one. It doesn't really want to come off. We could probably get it off with um, using uh, brute force, but I want to have a go at using the um, nail polish remover. So I'm just going to dip in a cotton tip in here and just going to spread it around a little bit. So this one seems a little bit more stubborn than the last ones. It is definitely coming off a lot easier but definitely not perfect and there's some gray uh, stuff still on there so what I'm gonna do is go back to the uh, orange orange power yeah look at that that comes off a lot better so yeah that basically tells me that the orange power works a lot better than the nail polish remover. The nail polish remover seems to work better than the wipes, but the orange power is even better. And the last part we're looking at is a video card. This is an ATI Radeon, I believe it's a 9700. And a couple of things. The cooler is not in the best uh, shape, so I'm gonna have a go at putting some uh, oil in there, some lubrication and also, I wanted to have a look at that thermal pad. So apparently, it's got a, a shim on the outside, which is taller than the actual GPU core. So 
The way this one works is there are some pins in here which we need to pull up. So that's the first one and the second one. And then the cooler should actually start to come out. Ah, there you go. So, and here we can see what's happening. So this is the, that yellow stuff is the thermal, the thermal pad basically. So what I'm going to do is have a go at cleaning it off the GPU cooler first. Okay, that isn't working very well. I'm gonna try the uh, nail polish remover again. So yeah, this is definitely not wanting to come off. So I made some progress with the orange power. I just let it uh, soak in and with a combination of the uh, cotton tips and this sticker removal tool, I got this on eBay ages ago and basically I just, yeah, scraped it off. So that's looking like uh, it's most of the gunk is gone so we're just gonna use the paper towel and that looks very good now doing the actual gpu die that's gonna be uh, probably a lot more challenging because there are um, if you look carefully there are small resistors around the gpu area and you gotta be super careful with that so i might d just do this off camera um, taking my time and yeah, we'll come back shortly. Okay, here we are cleaning the GPU die and that's actually working a lot better than I thought it would. I basically just soaked everything here and because of the shim, the uh, liquid actually stays contained and then just with the scraping tool, we'll just carefully scraped it all off and it, yeah, this works actually really well. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more and then we have a look at the finished product. There you go, that's all done. The GPU die is now nice and clean and I can think about what to do next. So the problem with these Radeon cards is that the shim is a little bit taller than the actual GPU and you can uh, read old reviews and they uh, basically found the same thing. You've got a couple of options. You can use a lot of thermal grease to cover that distance to the uh, GPU cooler. You can use another thermal pad. I've actually got some new ones, but seeing how difficult this was to remove, um, probably not what I'm going for. And the other option is to remove the shim, which is uh, this area here. And that's very likely what I'm gonna end up doing, but I'm not gonna do it just yet. I'm gonna sleep over it. And yep, yeah, I'm gonna look for your comments. What are your thoughts? So guys, there you have it. Hopefully you found this interesting. I certainly learned a few things. Definitely orange power, sticky spot and good dissolver. Worth getting, I'm gonna pick up a few more bottles tomorrow when I go to the supermarket. And have a look on eBay on these ones, uh, sticker removal tools. So uh, both of these worked really well for removing these nasty uh, thermal pads of video cards. And yeah, there you have it. So uh, let me know what you think down below in the comment sections and I shall see you soon with another video.